dear students welcome to the classroom today we are going to continue the first lesson of introduction to computers standard 7th lesson number 1 internet and email and today's topic is the email window title bar dear students the title bar displays the icon and the name of the open folder inbox it also displays the name of the browser it means internet explorer on the right hand side of the title bar you can see three buttons click on minimize to minimize the window the window disappears from the desktop now you can see only the icon button on the taskbar to see the window again just click on the icon button on the taskbar click on restore down to make the window smaller in the smaller window this button changes to maximize button click on maximize to see the window in its original size again click on close to close the window address bar the students it displays the detailed address of the open folder on the left hand corner of the address bar you can see two buttons click on back to go back to the folder you opened before the current one click on forward to go to the folder you had opened before you used the back button click on the arrow to the right to see a list of all folders that you recently opened on the right hand side of the address bar you can see refresh click on this button to refresh your emails menu bar the students the menu bar contains the main menus file edit view favorites tools and help these menus contains a list of commands that are useful when you are sending or receiving emails active tab the students the active tab shows the name of the open folder or current page of your email note the changes in the active tab during the process of opening folder and after the folder has been opened folder tab the students the name of the open folder appears as a small tab just below the active tab folders the students on the left pane of the email window you can see a list of folders for your emails the open folder appears highlighted in the list and also as a tab just below the active tab inbox contains all emails received drafts contains emails which are written but not sent sent contains all emails sent spam contains unwanted emails like advertisements etc trash contains deleted emails click on a folder to open it on the right pane you will see all emails stored in that folder status bar dear students it displays the current status of your email activities when an action or activity is completed you will see the word done on the left hand side of the status bar you can also see the connectivity icon which is displayed when you are connected to the internet compose name and sign out on the left hand side of the window click on compose to write an email and send it the right hand side of the window displays the user's first name with which the email account was opened click on sign out to sign out of your email account when you sign out you will go to the home page of yahoo sign in compose and send an email sign in log into www.yahoo.com click on mail you will see the sign in page type in your username and password in the given text boxes the password always appears as bullet because it is a secret and no one should be able to read it click on sign in you will go to inbox of your email dear students if you sign in to yahoo with keep me sign in box checked you will remain sign in to the site unless you sign out by clicking on sign out if you want to remain sign in close the browser when you have finished using yahoo do not click on sign out if you click on sign out you will have to sign in with your username and password the next time you want to use yahoo dear students if you type in a wrong username or password you will not be able to sign in and you will see the page again which tells you 
that your username or password is invalid and you have to re-enter it. Here you can see that the username appears in the text box but the password text box is blank. This means that the password was wrongly entered. Type in the correct password and click on sign in. The active tab displays inbox yahoo mail india. The folder tab also displays inbox the name of the open folder. Compose and send an email. Click on compose. You will see the page where you can write an email and send it. The active tab displays compose mail yahoo mail india. Into the text box type in the email id of the person to whom you want to send the email. Dear students, you can see two text boxes below the two text box CC and BCC. CC means carbon copy. If you want to send the same message to several people, type in the email IDs of all the people in the CC text box. Separate each email ID with a comma. When you use CC, every person to whom you have sent the message can see the email ID of all those who received your message. BCC means blank carbon copy. BCC is used when you want to send the same message to several people but you do not want everyone to see one another's email ID. Dear students, now in subject, type in the subject of the email. The subject should be as short as possible. In the message text box, type in your message. Click on send to send the email. When the email is sent, you will see a confirmation message. Click on back to inbox to go back to inbox. The active tab displays inbox yahoo mail india. In the folder list, place the mouse pointer over sent. A screen tip shows that the folder contains one message. Click on send to open the folder. The active tab displays sent yahoo mail india. The folder tab displays email the name of the open folder. You can see the open folder highlighted in the folder list. The right pane shows the email id of the receiver and the subject of the email. Close the browser by clicking on close on the title bar or click on sign out to sign out of your email account. You will go to the home page of yahoo. So my dear students in this video we have learned many things about email. So watch the video carefully.